Davis, who just performed at Canteen for uh, Bands on Done, which was a very intimate, beautiful set. If you have a chance, check out her, her MySpace and her website. Um, and obviously, you've been to Ottawa before, and you were saying earlier that you enjoy the city. Mm -hmm, Do you it. typically, you know, take some time to look around and... Yeah, well, for example, uh, my, I'm up here to do In the Dead of Winter Festival at Wakefield at the Black Sheep, and the whole team is leaving Monday morning on a jet plane but I'm staying until Tuesday morning oh. just because so I think that there's a few museums I haven't made it to yet that I would like to see and go out for a nice meal and walk around and maybe like pat an ice sculpture or something <laughs> isn't it ice sculpture yeah, time yeah, yeah. Really yeah. yeah. Um, um, now with the, the music I know that we were speaking about one of my favorite songs that you do is art and that video is amazing I mean I've showed it to so many people um, I know you were saying it's going to be featured in New York City at a children's festival or something like that or yeah Andrea Dorfman made that video um, kind of as a gift actually she's really nice like that and she's an independent filmmaker Canadian filmmaker and New York emailed us just asking if we wanted to submit it and she submitted it to it's an international children's film festival in New York so I think it's gonna play four That's times so and exciting. it's just nice to think that that'll be playing on a screen in New York while I'm like really cold in <laughs> Halifax and little kids I will I know I don't know will just be there watching it um, with your music, I do find, you know, it's very honest and even like with your interviews you know, that I've read or, or I've seen, um, you seem to be very open to, you know, just speaking about whatever. Um, do you find like when you do write your music that you're consciously aware of that or you just, it's something that just sort of like flows out of you creatively to, you know, express yourself, I guess, in a way that, you know, most artists do, obviously? Um, I think it's a bit of both. Like I don't, I don't think about how vulnerable can I be in this song, but but sometimes if I'm looking back at my songs, I'm like, yeah, I guess you know, I just talked about something really intimate, mm -hmm. or I notice it at shows sometime if either I'm in between a song and bantering or and introducing the song content, I realize as I'm talking about it that it's really personal. Or halfway through a song, especially depending on the audience, I'll maybe suddenly get shy <laughs> of what I'm singing about. But I I like that. Like I I really think that. Um, there's so many people in the world and we can easily put walls up to each other. But, you know, I'm making music. I'm trying to pay my bills and just do my do my thing. But basically, we're all just little human beings trying to live. And community and connection is one of the basic, most simple things we have. So I just... No, for as a listener, I definitely appreciate it because, you know, you do find, you know, a lot of people do sometimes put up walls and they're afraid to be vulnerable. Like, it's scary for them. But for me, I feel like, you know, you just kind of embrace it. So it's... For me, it's awesome, so good for you. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for popping by. Hopefully, we'll see you again, and, yeah, and uh, thank you so much. Yeah,